Hey guys, welcome back to Artistic Therapy Zone. Today we are going to learn this awesome, amazing 3D mural. It's based on the Starry Night theme. I hope you guys know, which is uh, Starry Night by Van Gogh. So, can you see the texture, guys? It's so lovely. It's so amazing, and the sun with the mirrors adds to the beauty of this mural. I hope you guys will enjoy the step-by-step -step tutorial how to make this amazing art piece and it is the best decor for your home or a best gift. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Here is a list of materials required. I have taken cake base but you can take canvas as well. It's your choice. Apply two coats of acrylic colors. And I'm going to use this fabric reel molded for giving the 3D mural effect. It has resin and a hardener. We have to mix them in equal proportions. Apply a little talcum powder so that it doesn't stick on your hands, guys. You can see the marble effect, but we don't need that. We need it to be blended thoroughly. Now I'm going to make the roll into a ball which will be our sun so just give it a proper finishing with talcum powder after that i have traced this uh, waves we are going to make them 3d with the help of clay that is the main uh, attraction behind this article i just love that 3d texture of this waves it's look it looks so so awesome now I have taken red color and in middle we are going to place the sun and we are going to blend this in gradation like red, orange, yellow and going to blend them thoroughly. The process of blending is so therapeutic guys. I just love blending and it needs our concentration because we need to have the colors in proper place and once they are blended thoroughly, the effect that we get is just amazing. Now I am using orange color to give the Van Gogh effect. I hope you guys know the popular painting of Van Gogh Starry Night and it's based on the same theme. So we will be making like this wavy thing around the sun with different different colors and textures. Now I am giving a little bit of highlight with the yellow color. Can you see the effect guys? The highlights are adding to the beauty of this painting. So like this we have to fill up everything. And you need to have a little patience guys to do this. You can't go with that speed. <laughs> I have increased the speed here but you can't do that you have to have patience and enjoy it now I have taken clay we have to focus on giving it a shape of a wave so just see how I am giving it the shape of a wave in this beginning it is little pointy and later it is uh, very flat with the help of talcum powder I am just giving it the finishing look and just cut the extra portion similarly we have to do all the other views you can have views as per your wish one two or three you can overlap them you can uh, have one beside the other so it's it totally depends on how you want it only thing is we have to have in mind is just give it a little bit finishing with the help of our talcum powder and be patient guys <laughs> that's very important when we do any sort of art we have to have the patience to and enjoy the process if we enjoy the process i am telling you guys you will never get bored of doing it i just simply enjoy working with the clay because of the smooth texture that I can feel on my fingers. It's so, so therapeutic. So this way I have applied four waves of different sizes. And my 
one tiny wave i am putting it here this was not there in the drawing but i have added because uh, i didn't want it to waste clay and some bit of clay was remaining <laughs> Now I have taken this ultramarine blue and applying it on the edges of the waves. First we have to cover all the top pieces of the wave with the ultramarine blue. We are going to give it a little bit of uh, more 3D effect. Already they are 3D because of the clay but we are going to add a little more beauty, little more touch up with the help of colors. So we will be applying a little bit of teal blue after that and then give a highlight with the white. Like this we will be using the three colors ultramarine blue, teal blue and white. So let's see how we have to do it and enjoy the process. Okay here comes the teal blue just mixing and merging it. Let the color have that texture means uh, we don't want ultramarine to be separate and uh, teal blue to be separate so with the same brush i have i am applying this wavy things so this way we have to cover all the waves now comes the white to give it the highlight on the edges inside edges we will be applying white so this way we have covered all the waves here some portion of the wave is there so we will be applying the ultramarine color just cover it thoroughly and we will be giving texture to this wave also now i have painted this toothpick and the sun that we made with the pearl metallic gold I have applied two coats of pearl metallic gold on the sun because it is a little bit of transparent color so once the first layer dries apply the second layer and now I am using this A plus glue to stick the toothpick and the sun A plus is a little bit of strong glue now I am using this 3D cone liners to give a little bit of more texture so first I have taken the red one and now I have taken the yellow 3d liner to give it the highlights it looks awesome guys this texture is simply awesome with this 3d liners so just have patience and apply it now I am giving a little bit of shiny shimmery thing with this golden 3d liner too now I am going to use this uh, blue color from 3D liners, ultramarine blue and applying it on the waves. Okay, something came inside so just with the help of needle remove whatever obstruction has come. Now apply this very tiny 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 lines on the waves and the way it will turn guys i'm telling you it will look amazing right now the color is wet so you can't see the shine the shimmer but once it dries you'll be able to notice how it shines and give the shimmery effect this is totally optional guys uh, on the waves this idea of giving the 3d liner so if you wish you can add otherwise you can totally skip this step but i wanted to have the van gauche effect with this 3d liners so i went ahead and used them and it's up to you whether you want to use it or not once the piece is the art piece is ready you can decide uh, looking at mine that uh, whether you want this effect or you don't want this effect Actually, human mind loves textures, so I just went with the texture part of it and uh, I see the results are awesome. I just love, love, love this piece. This is one of my favorite pieces till the date and um, it's really close to my heart. You know, some pieces to which we are closely attached, so this is one of that which I 
am simply in love with now i have a, am applying the 3d gold liner to get the shiny shimmery effect to the waves okay now the last part that is i am applying fevicol a plus glue and on top of it i'm going to sprinkle some if you have the real sand you can sprinkle the real sand if you have which you don't have you can sprinkle the rangoli i'm using the rangoli and i'm sprinkling it and if you are not staying in a humid uh, humid area then you can even use rava and then coat it with varnish so that it doesn't catch as fungus but as i stayed in mumbai and mumbai is very humid and moist so i can't take the risk of using rava that's why i went ahead and used rangoli wow guys the piece is almost on the verge of getting finished now i am adding the final touches yes i am using this mirrors to give it a more glittery shiny effect after that you can varnish it and give two coats of varnish guys can you see the amazing fabulous beauty of this art piece i'm just in love with the textures they are so so nice guys the van gogh effect has really come out very very nice and it's just beautiful decor piece for your home or best art piece to be gifted so if you like this step by step tutorial don't forget to like share and subscribe artistic therapy zone we have crossed 300 subscribers and it won't have been possible without your support thank you guys thank you for always being there at you all bye bye